Good day, everyone. Welcome to Geodes Toss. Now we are in the third phase of our video. So we're going to draw the cross section of the map that we contour. So you can see, contour and plot the cross section of A, B. Okay. So this A, this point A of it, this B. So we're going to join the A to B together. Okay. So this is A and this is B. You're going to read a line joining A, B together. Okay. Can I see? A, B. Good. Now, uh, as I was explained in earlier videos in geometric mapping, so the same method I'm going to apply here, just that is you're going to see how we do our um, contouring. Okay, good. Now, the first form is to what? Place your slip of paper. Okay, when you place your slip of paper, place your slip of paper on, place your slip of paper starting from A and B, okay? So this is your A, so this is your A, and this is your what? Your B, okay? You write A, write B. So mark all the contour intervals that cross that line, okay? Here is, what point is this? 8,000 what? 100. So 8,001. Next one is what? 8,000. Next one is what? 79. Seven eight, seven six, seven seven, seven six. Can you see the point where they cross the line? Then this is your fourth. So can you? You have to know that also. Fourth, fourth. Then here is eight thousand seven hundred, eight thousand eight hundred, eight thousand nine hundred, nine hundred. Sorry, nine thousand. Then nine one. Good. Now you are going to take this to your map, to your graph. You can take it to your graph. Okay, this is your graph. Good. So first, do your A, your A B. Okay. This is your A. This is your B. So I will explain something now. Your A, your B. I know you have questions like why am I starting from up here? I want you to start whole start from down. Okay, that's one of the mistakes you need to avoid. I told you earlier that what the SF map map is a what is a depth map. So which means you are starting from top of the surfaces downward. Okay, downward. So your ruling of your line itself is downward. Okay, you must not forget that. Many do that and lose math in the exam. Okay, so can I say downward and name your stuff A and what B? Can you see that? Okay, good. Now, a, it's a depth map. So this is where you are, this is the top of the surface, the top of the surface where you are standing. Yes, yeah, that's zero. Okay, the other part is the many units or the scale we are using. Now you can see that they didn't give us. We are not given any scale. We're not giving any scale in our map, okay? Depth, in feet, we're not giving any scale. So what do we need to do? The next thing is to what? You can know that our contour is in 100. And our stuff started from, it ran from 7,000 watts. Once you have math, that's from what? The lowest is what? 7,6. And the highest is what? 9,1. So plotting your, um, your cross-section, you don't need to follow the idea of scale and the rest, okay? So you can just give yourself a kind of scale to use in your photo mapping. So yes, here is 0 0.0, good, it doesn't change 18. But for the others, because of the readings, you can be starting from, because you can see that it started from 7.6, 7.6. So let me just give you a sample so you understand what I'm saying. So here is zero, this is A, B. Okay, so if you are doing like, okay, I'm doing which um, interval you want to use? 5,500, right? 1,000, 2,000, 3,000. Okay, we do interval of 3,000, 1,000, 1,000, 4,000, 5,000. Then the journey just between 7,6, not journey, like 7,6 to 9,1. It will be too small. It will be too small. The data will not be that much. And you know to see it very well. Okay, so it doesn't matter if you are doing it, if you follow this method, or you just start from what? That point you can start from 7,000. Is the cross section you just need? You just need to capture the cross section. 
okay? 7,000, 8,000, 8,000, okay? 9,000, okay? Or 755. So I'm going to pick one total interval of 500. Good. So I'm going to start from 7,000. Then 75. Okay. Then 8,000. Then what? 85. Let me see. Then 9,000. Then we did for the other part too. 7,000. 75, 8,000, 85, 9,000. Okay, so since we have 91, you can do 95 also. 95 also. Good. Okay, so you can see that you can see just how the margin is and to cover your distance. We are doing like start from 0, 10. You don't need that. This will not affect your score. Okay, so the next step is to do what? We're going to follow our normal method, which is to mark the contours on our, on our graph, okay? So, you know the way I plot my contouring to show the topography below the source surface, okay? The way it's being shaped. So, this is 81, Abby. This is 8,000. This is A. Can you see? Don't forget. A, B. A, let's correspond. A to B. B, A. This is 7,000. So, let me go to 8,000. Okay, 8,000 is here. Good. Then you know that since it's 500, I'm increasing it. I mean, each point is what? 50 50. So 8,001 is the second point. Can you see? This is 8,000. So 8,050, 8,100. So this is where 81 will be. Can you see? Then I have to move to 8,000. 8,000 is here. Can you see? Then 79. 79 is two points below that. 79, 78, 77, 76. Okay, then just mark your foot with a straight line. I want to come back to that later. Just note that down. Okay, then after that, we have our. 8,700. Where is 8,700? So you come back down again. This eight, this eight five, right? This eight five. Eight five, eight six, eight five fifty, eight six. The eight seven, okay. This eight seven. Can you see going, the point where it is? Eight seven is. You going to mark it on this top. Eight seven, eight eight. It's eight, it's nine, nine thousand, nine one. Good. Okay. So now is to join. Okay, is to join your what, your contouring together. So I'm going to join them together. I'm going to join them together. Can you see that? Join all of this together also. Join all of this together, this side. You yeah, are going to rule a line, a straight line, don't bend it to a straight line because this is your fourth line. Okay? Just rule a straight line for your fourth. Straight line showing the fourth. Then just extend these guys to this fourth line. Okay, it's free and schedule. Mind my. Okay. So let me do it very well so we can all see it. Okay, so. Can you see? It stops at this fourth line. Then it's going stop at the other what? fourth line. Good. We have drawn our what our cross section. Okay. Let me show your fourth line is okay. There. So what do you need to get your full point? 
Can you see what you wrote here? Fourth A. You must write it in your in that fourth part. You write what? Fourth what? Fourth A. The next thing you need to do to get more mark is to what? Write your title. Most time I've always mentioned it. Students don't write their title. Title. Maps have title. Okay? And here, can you see the title? Map A. Structural map of a field in Niger Delta Oil Province. Okay? You see what? Okay. So, cross section. Cross section. Cross section of a structural map. Structural map of a field of a field in Niger Delta Niger Delta province that's plus mark for you okay it's because students usually ignore these things but they lose their mark okay so awesome we've done our contours just make sure that your lines are very very deep so these are it okay so we've done our contours We've drawn our cross section, we started the map, the series explaining ice pack map. We've done A, B, we've done the cross sections and that. So practice very well and yeah, success in your exams. Thank you very much for watching. Kindly subscribe and like my video.